and today we are going to discuss about one of the important poets of the Elizabethan period that is Edmund Spencer. Spencer is considered as one of the most important writer poet of the Elizabethan age because of his heavy contribution to the literature of the time. I am going to highlight the major works of Edmund Spencer along with some more details of some more detailed discussion about some of his major works. The first important thing about Chaucer is that he is called the child of Renaissance and a Reformation. This is very important aspect about Edmund Spencer. In examination like Sate, Nate and Gate, such types of questions have been appeared so many times. So friends remember that Spencer, Edmund Spencer is called the child of Renaissance and a Reformation. He is also called Poet's Poet by Charles Lamb. This is another important information about Spencer. He is called Poet's Poet by Charles Lamb. Now we shall discuss some of his uh, major works. It includes <coughs> Fairy Queen which was published in 1590. But, uh, a remarkable thing about Fairy Queen is that only book 1 to 3 were published in 1590 and remaining books for 4 to 6 were published in 1596. This is also a very important point as far as Satanet and other exams are concerned. Then the first remarkable book, the first remarkable work by Edmund Spencer is The Shepherd's Calendar, which is published in 1579. Then we have Amoretti, which is published in 1595, Epithalamian, 1595, Prothalamian, 1596. Then we have poems like Mother Hubbard's Tale, Astrophil is an elegy on <coughs> the death of his dear friend Sir Philip Sidney. Uh, the Shepherd's Calendar which is the important work by Edmund Spencer. We shall discuss some more details about Shepherd's Calendar. It is the first major poetic work of Spencer and it is published in 1579 and it was written under pseudonym of Emerito. This is very important. Uh, please note this. This Shepherd's calendar is written under pseudonym Emerito and it is based on Verges Ecologues. Ecologues hmm? is very important. Uh, in site and net examination you may have questions like this what is the base of you know shepherd's calendar it's versus ecologues is the base of shepherd's calendar and uh, this poetic work is dedicated to sir philip sydney this is also important and one of the major features of this work is that use of archaic words and this particular use, this particular style is inspired by Geoffrey Chaucer. Another important aspect of this work is that a folk character called Calling Cloud uh, is introduced uh, in this Supper's Calendar by Spencer. And this uh, character is originated by John Skelton. This uh, Shepherd's calendar is a series of pastoral ecologues 
for every month of the year okay so this is all about separate calendar then there's another important work by Edmund Spencer that is fairy queen which was published in 1590 very important and very obvious uh, point about fairy queen is that it is an incomplete epic poem it's also allegorical poem actually it was planned to be written in 20 books but uh, uh, spencer could not complete them 12 books were based on were planned to based on 12 different nights and these 12 nights were to represent 12 different virtues okay. and remaining 12 books were about were about to um, means where to um, portray the king author the spencer and stanza which is very important types of stanza is invented by spencer and it is used in this particular poem called fairy queen it is a stanza of nine lines and uh, the rhyme scheme of this stanza is a b a b b c b c and c it's very important then another important aspect of fairy queen is that it is based on the aristos orlando Friso. Uh, orlando Friso is a work by aristo and it is the base of fairy queen the next important uh, work by Edmund Spencer is Amarachi. It is a sequence of sonnets and there are about 89 sonnets in this sequence. And all the sonnets are addressed to Elizabeth Ball uh, who was happened to be Spencer's second wife. And uh, it is this particular sonnet sequence is based on the Petrarchan model of love. And the rhyme scheme is A B A B B C B C C D C D and E E. The next uh, important work by Spencer is Ephithele Mian. It is published in 1595, and it's a nuptial song. It's a wedding song of his uh, his marriage with Elizabeth Bowles, and there are 24 stanzas in this poem and one of the important features of this poem is that it is erotic in nature and there are about 365 lines in this poem the next important poem by spencer is prothalamian which was published in 1596 it's also a new song of the daughters of orestia elizabeth and catherine somrest these were two daughters and this particular poem is based on it's uh, actually a little song of these two daughters and that's all about spencer